I think it's fascinating the timing of the first time that God brings up the Sabbath. The timing of it is immediately one month after the Israelites got freed from slavery. They were slaves to a system. They were slaves that worked 24-7 at the demands of their slavers. And God's gift to them was a day of rest. They had never in their entire lives had a day of rest. They didn't know. It was unnatural for them, which is probably why some of them went out and gathered. They're like, no, this, this isn't normal. This isn't natural. And trust me, when we start Sabbath, it's not natural. It doesn't, like, I feel like I should be doing something. Come on, us workaholics, let's get real. Like, I should do something. I should do something productive. That rest is not productive. But here's the thing. I think it's fascinating that God used the Sabbath and announced the Sabbath and this rhythm immediately breaking the rhythm of, the, of slavery because the Sabbath, in the third lesson that we can learn, the Sabbath is about trust. The Sabbath is a gift, but the Sabbath is all about freedom. And Jesus chastised the religious who turned the freedom of the Sabbath into another rule and religiously enslaved people to the rules instead of realizing that the Sabbath is created for us as a gift for freedom, right? Uh, and a matter of trust. And that they stole that, that religion can steal that too. So it's not a religious ritual, you know, something that, that we have to because it's slaved about. It's about freedom. And when they turned it into a religious requirement, they removed the freedom aspect and disrespected the gift. So here's, here's, my, here's my revelation for those note takers. Lessons on the Sabbath, and I've got so much more I'm gonna share with you over the next number of weeks, but these are three lessons that we got just from this passage when the Sabbath was first introduced. The Sabbath is, number one, is a gift. It's a gift from God to us, okay? It's a present. <laughs> when if someone gave you a present, and you looked at the wrapping paper and said, oh, that's so beautiful, I couldn't possibly open it. Come on, anybody done that? Like, I couldn't possibly open, I couldn't possibly. It's a gift. A gift is only good if you receive the gift. You have to realize that this is a present. This is a gift that God gave us. The second thing is that it's about trust. It's about trusting that God is our supply and that every single week when we practice Sabbath and we practice a day of rest, it's reigniting, putting into rhythm. It's reigniting and reminding ourselves that God is my supply. God is in control. I trust you, God. It's every week, it's just kind of setting into the rhythm. Yeah, I trust you, God. It's all about you. It's about, about you being my supply. Not my job, not, <laughs> you know, not my, my expertise, not my effort. You're my supply. It's about trusting God. And thirdly, it's about freedom. And here's my revelation. This is where God's messing with me. Is I haven't viewed rest as a gift. I viewed it as a four-letter word. I viewed it as a, a stop and put on hold and a waste of time. I haven't viewed it as a gift so imagine my surprise when I read Exodus 16 and the Sabbath and realizing, whoa, it's a gift. My other revelation is I haven't trusted God enough that when I rest in him, he will pull me towards his goals for me. I haven't trusted him enough to go, you know, if I stop pushing it's going to put it on hold, not realizing I, I got to trust him that he's going to pull me towards his goals for me. And I have been a slave to society and its celebrations of busyness, and hard work. And the rhythm of society is more, I don't know, it's easier to slip into than that. And I've become a slave that, <laughs> that, the Israelites were slaves in Egypt, and part of their freedom was that, that I've become a slave to the patterns of this world and have ignored the rhythms of Sabbath and rest. And then I read this quote in my studies 
Adele Calhoun said this, man, this hit me right between the eyes. If you aren't resting, you are a slave to something. Ouch. If you aren't resting, you are a slave to something. How, how do you view rest? 